Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another week of remote learning. Um, I am supposed to let you guys know that remote learning is going all the way to the end of June with the Zoom. And then um, we are opening our schools today for the first day. Um, so if you guys want, you could go ahead and start registering for July and August if you're planning to come to your center where you guys were at before, okay? Thank you. So let's start off with our calendar. Okay, so we are on a brand new week. Can anybody tell me what today is? Good job, today is Monday. If today was Mon if today is Monday, what was yesterday? Sunday, good job. Yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, what is tomorrow? Tuesday. Okay, so how many days are there in a week? Good job, seven days. You ready to sing? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is Monday. So it's Monday, June. What number is that? Good job. 8, 2020. So let's count. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Can anybody tell me what the weather is like today? Please look outside your window and tell me. Is it cloudy? No. Is it raining? No. Is it snowing? No. Is it windy? Nope. Last night was very windy. So it is sunny. I was only outside for a little while and it was getting warm, so hopefully it won't get too hot today. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're gonna do with math today. We're going to use color pencils. So I think I left my crayons all in the color. Okay. So this one's um, learn. It says trace the number that is smaller and color the flower. So what's the first thing we do today? Good job, write our name. Okay, and you put today's date. Okay, so we're gonna do what is smaller. <coughs> okay, is five or zero? Which one's smaller? Good job, zero is. Okay, so you're going to trace the zero and then you get to color the flower. You could use crayons, pencils, markers, whichever you want. This week is the first week that we're starting our summer program. So we're going to be talking about our bodies and talking about um, community helpers. So since we're coloring flowers, what scents do we use? The sense of seeing 
And if it was a real flower, what sense would you use? The sense of touching, because you get to touch the flower. And the sense of smelling. Okay, so we're going to do the next one. Which one's smaller, four, four, or one? Good job, one, because it has the less amount of fingers up. Okay, so you're going to color this one too. I'm just going to color this one yellow. Okay. Which one's smaller, six or two? So we have six fingers and then two fingers. Which one's smaller? Two. Good job, you guys. Okay, last one. Which one's smaller, nine or seven? Remember, nine is that many fingers. And then seven is that many fingers. So we put two more down from nine to seven. So what number's smaller? Seven. Good job. Okay, and that's how we do this paper. Okay, so next we're going to sing our song. Hi, good morning my friends, how are you? Um, happy Monday. We're going to sing our song and it's called Parts of My Body. Okay? Skip to my Okay. Let's begin. One, two, three. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Here's are the parts of my body. On my head, I have two eyes. On my head, I have a nose. On my, on my head, I have my mouth. Here's are the parts, parts of my body. Hey, 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 look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Here are the parts of my body. On the top, I have two arms. On the top, I have two hands. On the top, I have ten fingers. I also have my belly. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Here are the parts of my body. On the bottom, I have two legs. On the bottom, I have two feet. On the bottom, I have ten toes. I also have my bottom. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Here are the parts of my body. Thank you.
That was a nice song. Okay, Miss Anna will join us with another uh, project. Okay, hey, remember I told you guys that we finished all the letters of the alphabet? Well, now we're going to start working on three-letter words. And to make words, you have to have a vowel, and you also have to have consonants. Um, except when you use the word A, because that's only a vowel, so you don't need a consonant. I. Okay, so we're first word. What's the first thing we have to do again? Is write our name. Okay, today's date. So we're gonna just do two words a day that it will help you learn and once you start looking at books, you can start sounding out words, okay? So let's start with this. What is the picture though? A hat, good job. So you need to, when you say it, say each letter. Ha, uh, t, ha, uh, t. And it says hat, okay? So we're gonna trace the H. The letter A, uh, and the letter T. t. Okay, and then you need to try to write it yourself. Okay, next one. F, A, N. F, A, N. Fan. Good job. So let's trace the F, the A, and the N. F, A, N. Okay, and you could even cover it, see if you could spell it without looking at it. Fan. Okay, and then they have two spots on the bottom, so you could draw a hat. I'm going to draw a funny looking cowboy hat. And then I'm going to write hat on the last line. Okay, and you can color it. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a fan. Mine's going to be a hand fan, a machine hand fan. Okay, and then you can write fan on the bottom. Okay, so these are the two words. What's this again? Uh, hat. Hat. And a fan. Okay, and that's how we, once you start recognizing the letters and the sounds, you're going to start picking up words when you start looking at your books and reading the pictures, okay? And tomorrow we'll do two other words. So next comes Miss Maria with culture and art.
Okay, so today we are going to be learning, or we're going to do the introduction to the human body. To the human body, okay? So here I have a worksheet, and um, the first thing we do before we can begin our worksheet is, yep, you're right, write our name and our date. So, Priya, uh, and the date. This is the sixth month of the year, the, the eighth day of the month, and the year 2020. Okay, so let's read the instructions. It says, color the body, cut out the name of the body parts, and paste them where they belong. Okay, so let's go ahead and color in our body. I will color mine orange or red but you can color yours any color you like. And then once we're done coloring uh, the body, we're gonna go ahead and cut the names or the words below, and then we're gonna paste them where they belong. Okay. But if you like, we can go ahead and start naming them out as we color them. So here are the fingers. This is the arm. And then the shoulder. And then we move on to the other arm and the other shoulder. The arm, the hand, and fingers. Okay, then we move to the bottom, the stomach, and now this are the legs, and one foot, and we're going to move on to the other leg, and then down to the foot. Okay, there's our body. So now I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut out the words down here. Easier if I go if I do it this way, it's faster. Okay. So once you have all your words cut out, we're gonna begin pasting them. So let's see. I'm gonna begin with the word hip. So who can tell me where where's the hip? Is the hip right here? Nope. Is the hip down here? No. What about this right here? Yep, that's where our hip is located. So we're going to grab our glue. And just put a little bit of glue behind and paste it where the hip goes. So that's our hip. Okay, our next word is ear. Okay, where does the ear go? Where's the ear located? Is it here? No. What about here? Close enough, but nope, not there. What about here? Is that an ear? Yep, you're right, that's an ear. So let's go ahead and paste the word ear on that line. Okay. So ear. Okay, our next word is gonna be head. 
So let's see. Where is the head located? Is the head down here? No, it's not down there. What about here? Nope, that's not the head. What about up here? Yep, it's up here. Okay, I'm going to do a few more and then I will move on to our next project. But you can take your time and do, it, do this at home, okay? And if you need help, don't forget to ask uh, mom and dad or brother and sister or when you go on your Zoom uh, session. Okay, so head is up here. Our ear is right here. Our hip is here. And then our next word looks like it'll be elbow. So where is our elbow located? Is it here? No, I'm close enough, but nope. What about right here? Yep, yeah, that's our elbow. Okay. And one more, our last one. So our next word is arm. Now where is our arm? Is it down here? Nope. What about here? Yep, that's our arm. Okay, so let's paste the, uh, the word arm here. This is our whole arm. Okay, so just continue finishing. Um, ask for help if you need any. And we'll, I'm going to move on to our next uh, worksheet. So our next worksheet, it's about community helpers. So this is the introduction to community helpers, okay? So here are a few of our community helpers. Community helpers can be teachers, can be police officers, doctors, mailmen, or firefighters. And there's many, many more, um, but throughout the month, we will be learning about the rest of the um, community helpers. So let's go ahead and write our name. Our date, six, eight, 2020 and uh, friends so each uh, week we will be learning about a new um, community helper so what we are thinking of doing is uh, doing making it into a book so don't throw away your uh, worksheets that have community helpers and at the end of uh, the month when we have learned about all the community helpers we're gonna staple them and it'll be our community helper book okay so let's go ahead and trace the words. Here we have, we are the community helpers. So let's go ahead and trace the words. W, E, we, A, R, E, we are, T H E V we are the and down here capital C O M M U N I T why? That's a long word. Community. We are the community helpers. Capital H E L P E R S. And this is a little exclamation mark. We are the community helpers. Let's go ahead and color our community helpers. I'll start with the teacher. 
And I'll only, I'm going to only color the teacher, okay? And then we're going to move on to the next worksheet. So you can do this. Um, just take your time and do your coloring. Okay. I'm going to color her dress. And then I will show you which community helper we're going to do first. Okay, so there's my teacher. Um, You can use any colors you like. These are just the colors that I chose. Okay, so once you're done um, coloring all your community helpers, remember to keep this page because this is going to be the cover of the book. Okay, and here is our community helper of week one. Can you guys tell me who he is? Yep, he's a police officer. Here it says, I am a police officer. Let's go ahead and trace the word police officer. Capital P, O, L, I, C, E, police officer, O, F, F, I, C, E, R, officer, police officer. So go ahead and color the police officer. And I won't color mine because I'm running out of time, but go ahead and um, color your police officer. And then I have one more part and it says, I drive a what does a police officer drive? Yep, a police car. So go ahead and trace the word police car. P O L I C E police. And the second word C A R car. I drive a police car. So go ahead and color your police car, okay? And now we're gonna move on to arts and crafts. Okay, you guys, the last arts and crafts um, project that we have is a body, okay? And it says important organs. So we want you to draw you and what is our body missing? So you need to make them some hair to make them look like you. What else? Eyes, a nose, a mouth, some ears. And then we want you to give them a heart. Give them some lungs to breathe. He has two lungs. Okay, so you got to give him like two oval shapes down here for him to breathe. And then give him a brain to make him think, okay? But we want it to make it look like you, so that's why we, we're we just showing it to you, okay? So take your time, you could sh um, take a picture of it, put it on the comment for um, remote learning, or you could show it to whoever's doing Zoom with you guys and show them that you finished it so they could take a picture and um, show Zoom class, okay? So we'll see you tomorrow, and don't forget that um, our schools are open now, accepting um, enrollment, if you guys want to enroll for July and August. 
and remote learning and remote learning in Zoom ends June 30th. Yeah. Yep, June 30th, okay? Bye, see you guys tomorrow.